hello, and welcome to WitAM, a daily look at world, national, regional news, sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Luke Jansma. The Department of Justice says it'll ask President Trump to invoke executive privilege if House Democrats push through with a contempt of Congress vote against Attorney General Bill Barr. The House Judiciary Committee wants to see the full, unredacted Mueller report. Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler said he'll hold a vote Wednesday on holding Barr in contempt over his reputed refusal to return over the Mueller report. One of the two suspects in Tuesday's school shooting in Colorado is being ID'd as 18-year-old Devin Erickson. A second juvenile suspect has not been named, and the two shooters were apprehended after killing one student and injuring eight others. At STEM School Highlands Ranch, south of Denver. The suspects were also students at the school. STEM School Highlands Ranch is a kindergarten through 12th grade school with around 1,800 students. The National Weather Service is predicting the Quad Cities area could see more heavy rainfall today. There's a slight chance for severe weather by this afternoon, and the expected inch and a half forecast for tonight could make the flooding situation even worse. Residents and businesses are trying to bounce back from Davenport's flooding situation. We'll meet with city officials Thursday at the police department's community room at 10 a.m. Through, through 6 p.m. meeting at the Roosevelt Community Center and is for residents only. Robotics will have a huge impact on what's to come in the world. Western Iowa Tech has a robotics curriculum that can help students prepare for their future. News students at Western Iowa Tech did some investigating to find out more about this field, and in this four-part series, you will learn about the field from a few different angles. Today, Kenny Sherman brings us his take on the, in the growth of the robotics industry. Hello, and welcome to WIT AM. I'm Kenneth Sherman. Robots are actually bringing in more high-paying jobs. Roman Voyers is one of the many robotics students looking forward to finding a great paying job after he graduates. The robotics program at Western Iowa Tech Community College has seen a large increase of students getting high paying jobs right out the door. The robotics instructor of Western Iowa Tech, Dave McDonald, says the robotics industry is larger than ever and manufacturing companies are hiring right out of school. A lot of jobs, I mean, that's the only thing I say is there are just a lot of jobs. I mean, there's um, BPI is constantly hiring our students. I've got a lot of students out of BPI. I've got a lot of students at Tyson. Um, Wells has started in uh, hiring our students also. Um, just, it's, uh, the, the, the industry is booming. The rise of robots in the manufacturing world has actually increased the wages for workers. Robots has taken some jobs in the industry, but those have created more positions, which comes with a higher pay. Dave states that students have uh, continued to get the robotics degree will be more useful by companies. They're seeing that um, by completing that, getting that degree and getting the robotics part of it also, they're seeing more value and getting more money. Manufacturing companies are still in need for workers, so if you're interested in the robotic engineering program, you could head down to Western Iowa Tech to take a look at their uh, industrial programs. I'm Kenneth Sherman for WET TV News. We'll be right back with a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. This Week on Campus is your leading student-run newscast in the Siouxland area. The weekly show features all things Western Iowa Tech from deadlines to events. I follow This Week on Campus on Facebook and YouTube so I never miss a beat. Without it, I wouldn't have known about Drop Zone Night, Pickled Palette Night here on campus, Movie Night at the Promenade, or that all of these activities are free. Tune in every Friday afternoon to stay up to date on the college Facebook or YouTube page with TV. For the latest programming, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Welcome back. In entertainment news, the Starbucks cup that was accidentally left in an episode of Game of Thrones may have earned the coffee giant over $2 billion in free advertising. The cup appeared on a table for only around two seconds near characters Daenerys Targaryen in Sunday's episode. Hollywood-branded CEO Stacey Jones told CNBC that all the attention it received led to an estimated $2.3 billion in free advertising for the coffee giant. The cup has since been digitally removed from the episode. 
R. Kelly's lawyer is asking prosecutors to hand over a copy of a video that allegedly shows the singer having sex with an underage girl. Kelly was in court yesterday for a hearing on his sexual abuse case. In the video his lawyer is pushing to see was allegedly discovered by lawyer Michael Avenatti, and it may be used against Kelly in his upcoming trial. The singer has been charged with 10 counts of abrogated sexual abuse. Hawaii is at the top of a list of the fittest states in America. The report by Quote Wizard looked at a census da data and obesity body mass index. Hawaii ranked as number one in the nation. Montana ranked second, followed by Connecticut. Mississippi ranked at the bottom of the list, below Kentucky and Texas. Quote Wizard noted that obesity rates have risen steadily over the past two decades, along with health insurance premiums. There's already New York's bravest and New York's finest, but now the city is turning to New York's baddest. A group of goats is being sent into Manhattan Park to crack down on invasion of plants. The Riverside Park Conservancy says they've had trouble containing the weeds, 20, for the weeds. 24 goats will be unleashed on May 21st. The animals are being sent from a farm in Rhinebeck. A similar initiative was used at Prospect Park in 2016. Taking a look at today's weather, today will be wet and rainy and there is a high chance of a thunderstorm at around 1 p.m. Temperature, temperatures will be just under 50 degrees with a slight wind. Rain accumulation will be around 1 and 3 and a fourth inches. Tonight, rain will continue to fall with temperatures falling as well. It will be around 37 degrees tonight with 15 mile per hour winds that, and the storm will settle in the later hours of the day. Rain accumulation will be around a quarter of an inch. Tomorrow. We'll, be, we'll begin with cloudy skies that will gradually part throughout the day, and the high is 53 with light winds. Thanks for joining us. Check out, be sure to check out our YouTube page, WIT TV, and be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.